Philip, you won't believe this. I register with this online dating site, and in the first reply I get, this idiot says to me, I like your nose. Are you dangerous? Then he sends me a dick pic. Is that supposed to be some kind of turn on? He has no idea what he's dealing with here. Let's go back to the Are You Dangerous line. You remember how we met, right? Yep. Summer of 2013. I'm at this bar every day, trying to drown the rough patch I'm in. The place has a dark, tacky lounge decor. It stinks of stagnant drain water and old cocaine sweat, but I like that about it. There's basement open mics most afternoons, and I'm usually the only one drinking upstairs, so I've grown accustomed to having my bartender's undivided attention, equal parts friend, service provider, and change dancing bear. Every once in a while, some artist will pop up and need something. I'll stare resentfully into my drink, like a toddler taking consolation with a favorite toy while mom nurses the new baby. On the good days, when the crumbling establishment soda gun actually works, they'll beg off a Diet Coke and disappear quickly back to their dank, sparsely populated cave, quickly and without tipping. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm sit she's sitting alone at the far end of the bar chatting up my buddy, the bartender. I come in and take a seat at the opposite end. The joint's empty except for the two of us. I'm sitting there for like five minutes watching her bat her eyes. My buddy's oblivious. I clear my throat a couple times. Then I fake a really loud cough, which finally extracts him from her talons. He strolls over and he finally mixes up my usual. Enter the ancient mariner, this old duffer. He hangs his cane on the edge of the bar in a way that says, I've been here a while, and I'll be here a while. He captures my barkeep's attention, like a friend, and I wonder if something worthwhile is going to happen. We picked up our conversation exactly where we left off last Sunday. Usual barfly bullshit. I try to look a little aloof, but I'm side-eyeing my fellow patron. He's got some good tattoos, better ones now. Looks like he's had his nose broken a time or four. What a good-looking guy. His lively voice and engaged demeanor set him apart from other barflies in his age bracket. <laughs> they exchange gossip and dirty jokes, and I look for an opening to introduce myself. You're eavesdropping. She was eavesdropping. Uh, she later tells me she knew immediately that A, I'm someone who wouldn't notice or remember her, and B, I'm someone whose skin you wanted to get under. <laughs> Part A, not true. I don't make a habit of starting conversation with strangers drinking alone in an empty bar on a Sunday afternoon. I'm just thinking maybe they're looking for a little space. Hey, are you a neighborhood girl? Yeah, I live on Ken Marin Mott. Huh, so that would be no. <laughs> he turns away slightly and keeps on with the bartender. A masterful gesture. Suddenly, I'm as full of indignation as I am of rot gut whiskey. <clears throat> I'm a neighborhood girl. I've lived, worked, spent, drank here. I love East Village with the best of them. My drive to conquer takes over. Well played, asshole. I will get under this one's skin. What the fuck? Let the games begin. I weasel my way back into conversation and into the old man's attention. Try to be cool. I'm sure I come across like a little girl interrupting man time, tugging at daddy's jacket. We argue good-naturedly about dive bar poetry, and I can tell he's feeling out my intellect, kind of toying with me, so I play him back hard. You open with Bukowski, do I like him? <laughs> Becomes very apparent very quickly that whatever I reply will be immediately deliberately op opposed by whatever she comes up with in her head. Devil's advocate, I'm thinking more like happy hour ball buster here. <laughs> Uh, so part B is true. Yeah. Someone is getting under my skin. You pissed me off. Mission accomplished. Eventually, I get his card. He takes his cane and leaves as cool as he came in. I wonder if we'll run into each other again and if I'll stand out among his surely countless encounters with smart-ass drunk girls in shady dives. 
You know how you get dog shit on your shoe and you can't shake it off. <laughs> call it fate, call it destiny. I keep running into her at all my favorite joints and she's on me like a pit bull that won't let go. She challenges every fucking thing I say. But I got it. What begins as a confrontational duel of wits slowly and imperceptibly grows into fascination, interest, respect, and finally a very challenging but enduring friendship flavored with a lot of happy hour whiskey and lots of good stimulating conversation. What makes him unique is that I still can't get enough of the old man, even though many months and many meetings later he comfortably reveals that I've won him over. I seem to have a knack for finding the ones who've lived to tell the best tales. So back to the point, are you dangerous? I'm thinking on this watching as you inhaled long and slow in that Newport menthol, your idle hand tapping softly on the bar, a dirge of broken hearts, false starts, and roads going nowhere. So if dangerous means tangling with some sexy smart lady who can go shot for shot with you while fucking with your head and you're still liking it, and yeah, you're dangerous, very fucking dangerous. And I like your nose too. <laughs> <laughs> 